Hello everyone, I would like to introduce you to Marion County, West Virginia. It's in the middle of everywhere and full of history and fun, not to mention delicious food and beer. <laughs> At the end of each of our broadcasts, you will catch a video on a different part of this amazing town, which has made our coverage possible. Start your day off right with a locally brewed cup of coffee and a breakfast meal from Joe and Thoreau, where you can learn how to throw your own cup of coffee on their pottery wheels. Not only does this town have two exciting and challenging 18-hole disc golf courses in Morris Park, but a short drive away is a step back in time at Prickett's Fort, where they featured costume interpreters and demonstrations of colonial crafts. Make sure you stop by Summit Financial, which offers investment, retirement, and estate planning, life insurance, and long-term insurance. And after all that, enjoy a beer and dinner while listening to live music at the Rambling Route. We want to thank the Marion County Visitors Bureau and the Fairmont Flyers for inviting us out to cover this amazing event again this year. Now let's get the show started. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the final nine coverage of the Seth Burt Memorial in the MPO division. I'm joined here with tournament director, Fairway Phil Burton. Hey, welcome back, everyone. We got some great disc golf for you today, the final nine. Oh, yeah, this is a blended round here. They play in the final nine. They're going to play holes one through five on the Seth Burton course, long to long, and then on the back nine, which is right across the road, hole 15 through 18 of Orange Crush. Special shout out to Mountain Craft Productions for helping with all the drone footage, for helping Disc Golf Examiner, and thanks to the Marion CVB for helping fund this footage. Okay, here we be begin the final nine countdown for the top card. We've got Tyler Horn in front, minus 15. Brad and Corey are tied for second place, bound to be a battle there. And here we start off with hole one of the Seth Burton Memorial Disc Golf Course. Yeah, nice little shot down here. You can do a sidearm over the road, a backhand up the middle. There's a lot of different options on this uh, first shot here. But none of them are overly generous. They're all yeah. kind of tight, so. Yeah. Tyler with a nice sidearm. Looking good. Oh, yeah, he's up there. Make sure and thank Brian Keegan, the disc golf examiner for putting these all the videos together. Yeah, Brian and the Disc Golf Examiner team, we had them down here for the weekend. They did a bunch of other publicity too. Check them out, give the Disc Golf Examiner a bunch of likes and some subscribes and follows and, and all that stuff. And if you see Brian, <laughs> be sure and thank him for the great work on the Seth Burton Memorial yep. videos. Right, here's Corey lining up a nice backhand. He's going for the tunnel shot, I think. Yep, he hit it. He'll be up there. He's in good shape. Yep, yep. And Sam Lee. Yep, Sam looks like a nice backhand here shot for him. Good lefty route. Oh, he's, he's taking a unique gap here. Oh, it worked for him too. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. He'll have a look at Bird. Very tough par three to start off the course, isn't it? Here? Absolutely tough. Mm -hmm. I see very many birdies on this hole. Yeah, great layup there by Brad. That'll give you an easy three. Corey looking to do the same here. Corey's second shot. Textbook. Yeah. Of course, being we. Top five pros will receive an invitation to the United States Disc Golf Championship held in Rock Hill, first weekend of October. Yep, yep. There's a lot of competition for those five spots for to get an invite. Here's Sam for his birdie look. Jump. Oh, I think he hit. This par. A little extra pressure on these par putts in the final nine. There's a, there's a, there is some space here that could be had. 
easily crawl back and make this about Corey or Brad. Yeah, it was a huge this battle about, for yeah. second place. Uh, but there could be a... But first place is reachable. Yeah. By the top three right now. Yep, yep. So we move on to the second hole. No change in score. Everybody part of that hole. Barbecue. Here's hole two. Beautiful shot here, you know. Uh, long distance, very protected basket on a beautiful little glen here at the bottom. Uh, takes one heck of a rip to get anywhere close. It does. It is par four, so there's some mm -hmm. forgiveness there. There's a row of tree line on the right and OB on the left on the on or across the road. Yeah, yeah. A lot of road here. Yeah, looks like he got a little shorter than he wanted, but he'll be all right. Brad letting loose a bomb. Big bomb, yeah. Mm -hmm. Should like that. Speaking of bombs. Corey can throw some bombs. <laughs> Corey's a West Virginia boy, so the fans are yell loud for him. Oh, yeah. And a fine disc golfer. Mm -hmm. Fine young man. Indeed. <laughs> Date how he is. All right, Sam. Gonna pipe one down the middle with his backhand. Looks like a nice straight shot. Should be excellent. Mm hmm. Yep. He's got a little work to do. He's probably going to have to throw a sidearm over the road here and spike it down on the basket. Very popular shot from uh, from out here. Pretty long shot as well. Oh, yeah. You can see the tree line on the right. You want to stay away from there. Yeah, yeah. He's going to be throwing right over that road. Something stable. Yep. Seeking. Oh, yeah, he'll be in a nice, nice position oh, there. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Of course, Corey and Brad are tied for second place. Yep, yep. Here's our leader here, Tyler, 15 under. Looks like Tyler's going for a buzz shot. Should be a good one. Yeah, oh, he chucked a little bit on the right. That, that'll make it tougher. Here's Brad throwing that over the road sidearm that we were just talking about. Right near the basket. Can't, can't draw it up any better than that. All right. Here comes uh, Sam with the scramble. Mm, he's still in trouble, yeah. Never made it all the way out. That's the penalty for going in the woods. Yeah. There's, there's no official penalty, but being there, a lot of times you just need an extra shot just to get out of the woods. Yeah. And so you can resume your march. Yes, yeah, so you see why this is a par four here for sure. Uh, only three par fours on the Sepper Memorial Disc Golf Course, long to long. Pro par 57. Uh, so, getting this uh, in the blended final nine, getting a par four on the Seth Burton course is really cool. Tyler missed his birdie op. Here's Corey for his bird. Settle for par. Sam's going in the woods to, to shoot for his par. A little scramble there. Should make this. Yes. He does. All right. Good. Yeah. This is the up course, up upper course, sometimes called the Seth Burton course at the. We're going to play five holes on this course and then four on Orange Crush to complete the final line. Yeah, so as Tyler gets his par there, Brad looks like he's going to get the only birdie. Yes, indeed. Well done. Yeah, so uh, this actually, there's a big, there's a pretty decent sized gallery following these folks right now. Um, we did a, a great time with our spectator raffle. Um, so we had a bunch of gallery fans following and, and buying raffle tickets for a sweet dynamic discs bag full of discs. So here we go. We've got uh, Brad getting one stroke back on Tyler, so mm -hmm. it's four strokes for uh, for that. And uh, Corey goes into third place. And ten under him. Shoot the tunnel. Hit the oh. hit the only branch. You got to miss right there. Let's see what Tyler's gonna do. Tyler throws a nice shot. He'll be skipping up there. He'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. Take him another one to get there. 
So here comes Corey. Let's see what he's got for us. It's There's a ripping hyzer. The gap so far. Yeah, that's a good skip. Oh my god! <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh my. Oh, those ones on the car look extra special oh good. Oh my goodness, Corey. What a throw. Yeah, Corey's going to jump back into second place with that oh, yeah. ace. Yeah, he's going to. There's an examination here for us. You want to show it to us again? Yeah. Oh, bam. Oh, what a shot. It's SC top 10 right there. So, all right, so here comes uh, Sam. He's going to have to follow that ace. That's always tough. <laughs> so, uh, he said he just think he just told Tori he's going to throw it in, too. All right. Ooh. This is par three. It's not a gimme par three, no. though. Mm -mm. A lot of action. Brad's going to have to throw a good upshot here for his to get a par chance. Looks like he's going with a nice sidearm. A little stable buzz. Great. Looks good. Should work well for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should a little be bit of a putt left. Yep. Yeah. There's Tyler. Giving a run. I think Corey's disc is still in the basket there. They didn't want to run up. <laughs> Sam went for it. Bounced out. Oh, Corey's desk ain't in there anymore. All right. <laughs> oh, Brad missing his uh, par putt. He's not going to like that. Tyler gets his par, and there's a two-stroke uh, jump there by Corey with that ace on the group. So uh, that'll change things up. And well, and actually three strokes on Brad with his bogey. So another big shake up of the leaderboard and, uh, after three holes. Yes, indeed. So here it is. We've got Corey now in second place with minus 12. And Chip drops to third place with minus 10. And here we are flying over hole four. It's a long uphill shot. So kind of a bunch of trees in the middle, but if you can get your first thought shoot through there, you can get there with your second shot with the big arms that these guys have. Oh yeah, it takes a big arm to hit this first shot too. You want to definitely give it a good throw and uh, get yourself out there. Yeah, there's kind of a flat landing area up there. You need to be up there for you for a good first shot. Oh, Corey has no problem getting up there. Wow. Yeah, he's right on the edge. Right on he's the in edge. good shape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easy three from there. Here's our leader, Tyler Horn. Lining up his shot. So we got a three stroke lead right now after, uh, over Corey Ellis, who's in second place. Yeah. Yeah, good shot by Tyler. Who I've got a good three opportunity from there. You can get there from there. Mm-hmm. Here's Sam. And we might, yeah, good throw from Sam. Wow, he unleashed a bomb. Oh, yeah. That broke through. Oh, that's the best drive right in, out of the yeah, Right in the middle. Three. Yeah. Let's see what Brad wants to do. He's going to hammer it up the hill. Yeah. yeah got kind of a long second shot. Yeah, yeah. Doable. Yeah. Trying to wait till some magic. This basket, not only is it uh, protected by the grass, it's got a low hanging tree there, too. So you got to kind of pinch your shot right in between those two areas. And it's on a very steep bank up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need to land this one flat. Tyler throwing a straight one, fading a little at the basket. Should Good be shape. A, should be all right, yeah. It's got a fairly short putt, but it is straight uphill. Sam here. Looks like he's just laying up. Yeah. Yeah. Good three here to get. There's a lot of a lot of room for error. Corey might have a little stab at it. Yeah, he's up there. Can force all these other guys to make their putts. Here's Brad for his par. Yeah. Nailed it. Good putt, Brad. Tyler save his par. Uh, Tyler. A couple more 
tap in here. Corey for par. Right. And Sam for par. All yeah, right. Easy threesy, huh, yeah, everybody? Start par on that, so no change in the score. Brad Schick. Tori Ellis and Tyler Horn leading. Tyler Horn still got three strokes. This hole five is a good hyzer hole. A little hyzer over the wishing well. He's going to throw straight up the road there and then cut into the left at the end. Of course, the road is OB. A, as you can see, there's a large row of trees up on the high side there on the left. If you can get the right kind of shot, you can set yourself up well. Corey throws a big mash. He'll he'll be getting there. Look at this. Mm. Oh, sit. Ooh. Stayed in bounds. Uh, I was close. Yeah. Ditches can be uh, very forgiving sometimes. Here goes Tyler with a big hyzer. He's cutting in now. He's cutting in. Skipping right up there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Got about a 30 footer there. Got so. a nice look for birdie. Ooh, oh, he throws the skinny route. Uh, it'll be all right for have a have a look. There's Brad with the big get around it. Yep. Perfect shot. it will be good too. Yeah. yeah. He's the furthest out here is Sam. Looks like he's just gonna throw an up shot with a stable disc. Nice little sidearm. Go right in there. Yep. Easy three. Brad might take a run. Figure he would. He's due for a throw in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. If I could roll a little bit, hope it sat down. Corey for his bird. He's straight uphill there. Just missed it. Yeah. Tyler. You know, he's birdie hunting here. Oh, and Tyler misses. Oh. Got mm. Some work to do coming back, too. Yeah, he does. There's Tyler. From see the gallery down there in the distance. Yeah, there's our gallery. Yeah, they're, they're being super quiet. And he missed again. Oh, oh man. That's going to be another. He's giving up another stroke to Corey. Yeah. He's putting for, for bogey now. Yeah, yeah. Got some swing, some swinging going on here now. Sam's gonna tap in his par. Little bag putt. Corey had to bend down low to pick up that one. All right, here we go up the hill, hole 15. Tyler lost a stroke on that hole. Yeah, two strokes separate Corey and Tyler. I mean, pretty close, and then two more strokes back is Schick. It's uh. It's a battle for uh, for anybody for first place here. And four strokes difference on that. So now we're going into hole hole six. Yeah, the six orange crush. Yeah, the six hole of the blended round is hole fifteen on orange crush. The players just walked down the hill from hole uh, five and Seth Burton, and then there's the fifteen tee pad. So if you ever want to do a blended round yourself, you can try it out. It's a good way to get uh, get back to the parking lot quickly too. <laughs> This is an uphill shot here for the first couple hundred, two or three hundred feet, and then there's a large landing area, and then it goes downhill to the basket, which is still yeah. quite some distance. Yeah, yeah, good dog leg left shot, and looks like Sam might have made the turn. Don't know how bad a kick he got a kick. He stayed straight too long. Yeah. He's gonna try to hook it around there. Like yeah. a good shot. That's a good one, yeah. Up the hill at the top. Oh yeah. Yeah, he'll He's have right a, in the middle there. He'll have a look. Get down the tunnel. Tough par four here. Well, Tyler's showing us how it's done. He got around the bend. He's gonna be a little left, but uh, with a good scramble, he should still be able to get a birdie. Corey went oh. OB, oh my. kicked all the way across the road on his drive, and so ended up here. He's at three now. 
So this is hoping that prayer can get through those trees and close to the got basket. Through. It looks like it kept on flying though. We'll see if he has a putt when he comes back. This is really a perfect place to be here. Brad Look at this textbook sidearm right down. He get hit by that last tree, but he'll have about a twenty five footer. Yeah. For his bird. And your Sam over in the woods on the right. But really not a bad look from there. I should lay this up. Yep. Sure enough. Yeah, he looks like he's real close. Really close. Tyler from a good spot. Oh, he had a little tree. He'll have some work to do for his birdie. Yeah, it should, should be doable. It's a good putt. This is a par four, so... <clears throat> A good place to make a birdie if you have three good shots <laughs> yeah 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 that was Corey's fourth shot I think out of the woods ouch yeah so he'll be getting bogey at best while Tyler here our leader is looking to get a bird and he, he nails it. it wow good job Tyler that's yeah. pressure right there that's clutch Brad's going for a birdie as well. Yeah, he wants to make a move, and he there does. He yeah. Good job. Okay. I believe this is Corey down here. He's he's over par already. If we can put this one in. Got sure it. Sure enough. Yeah, got his bogey. Yeah. That'll Double work. bogey. Or uh, par it's four. a par four, yeah, that's right. Single so bogey, yeah. Single bogey. Yep, but not what he wanted. Just gave two strokes back to Tyler after making all those moves after the ace. And here we go. Hole 16, we got our leader Tyler at 15 under, kind of cruising. Hopefully, you know, he can get through the last few holes, he's hoping. And Brad and Corey at 11 under. Tied again. Tied again for second place. There's a narrow hallway shot way downhill. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Fairly calm right there, but as soon as you get down below the road, it is a tunnel shot. He looked a little right there. You got to be more of the middle to get down in that middle shot where you want. All right, Samuel Lee here throwing a little turnover shot. It looks like he hit the tunnel well, but oh, he got a bad kick. Mm hmm. He'll be down there by the red basket in yeah. the creek. So it's really on the left. There's a severe gully, and on the right, there's really a smaller gully. It was still fairly severe. You know, he shot low. That's Tyler went right as well. Got kicked back into the middle, but he still had a lot of work to do to get down the bottom. There's Corey. Looks like he's got a putter, maybe. 411 feet. It is downhill, so if you can get the glide, oh, it looks like it. He got down there. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. We all Whoa. like good job, Corey. He's, Excellent. He's not done yet. Got a uphill putt there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Somebody's buried in the weeds. Skip it Tyler or Brad. I think that might be Brad, look like. Throwing a little upside down shot. Got down there. Looks like that. Yeah. Tyler, gonna a little upshot here. He's gonna go for it. Oh yeah, he wants it. Ooh. Very close. Yeah, yeah that's, what you, the next yeah, time. that's what you want. Alright, Sam gonna probably be laying up as well. He may take a stab at it. It's not that far of a putt, really. So basket close. hit that basket look like. Good try. There's Court. There's Brad. Oh, oh nice bar save by Brad. He wanted that. That that's a that helps. There's Corey for his bird. And he, he hits nailed it. it. Good job, Corey. So he'll go. He'll gain a stroke now yeah, on the yeah. car. Mm -hmm. Break the tie for second. Yep. So, we have a, so there we are. 
hole 17. We got our leader here, Tyler, at 15 under. Corey at 12 under. Chick at 11. And Samuel at 4 under. All four of these players are uh, have already qualified at this point to the USDGC by their performance here today. Samuel Lee got his USDGC invite uh, at a previous event. And we got Corey Ellis. So here we are on hole 17 of the Orange Crush course, part of the Seth Burton Memorial Disc Golf Complex. This is the second to the last hole for the final four. Yeah. It is four par. Yeah. It's really a long straight hole, but there's a lot of risk in between. Yeah. You got OB to the left out on the road. Yeah. Big yeah. dog leg left turn to get down the fairway too. And uh, it says 381 is the distance, but it probably plays about 500, I assume. I think so. Yeah. You got to get up the top of this bank and then go to the left. Mm -hmm. Sam's showing us how he'd do it. Oh, yeah. sit right there. Oh, he'd be all right right there. Yeah. Yep. You can see the basket from there. Mm -hmm. Those guardian trees at the top of the hill are like the perfect place to be or past it. It looks like Tyler's get around. Oh, oh he kicked right. Shouldn't be too awful. But. Uh, Just Corey's to... second shot. Line up a nice little sidearm here. Ooh. Looks effective. Yeah, may get a good skip back. He'll he, he'll be on the green. Sam's got is gonna do something here. A little backhand turnover shot. Flex it to the left here, hopefully. And turn left. Did he's gonna be right there near the basket. Mm -hmm. Definitely on the yep. mm -hmm. putting green. Tyler, you know, he wants to try to get under that basket. Nice little Anheuser shot, mid-range. Should be a make doable shot. He smashes it nicely. Yeah. Looks Tyler. like he's going to be right there. Yeah. yeah. Tyler doesn't want to give up any strokes at this point. Going into the final hole, uh, you know, the par five, too. A lot can happen in these woodsy holes. Mm-hmm. Should be good. You can see the landing of it right now. Right. Sam going for his birdie putt. You see our galleries forming a little. Some of them are getting a little too far ahead. <laughs> oh, well, dang it. Sam will have a tap in for par. Time for his birdie. Oh, he makes it. Nice. He'll pick up a stroke. Yeah. It's looking like he's got this tied up here. Corey's and going. Corey's for a birdie, too. Yeah. Excellent. Nice, nice. All right. So both Corey and Tyler will pick up a stroke on this one. And Brad has the par and Sam Lee with the par. Yep, yep, yep. And we're on to the last around. hole after the mm -hmm. Brad puts out. And Brad did oh. it again. Oh my! That's twice in the last in this day that we've seen Brad miss a putt like that. He'll, he'll be bouncing out of that here on the last hole. I hope. Uh, looks like Corey's got second place at 13 under. Pretty solid. Three strokes from Tyler at 16, who's our leader. So. Uh, Got to defend his lead here, though, at the end, doesn't he? Yeah. Par, five, par five. 32 strokes between second and third place yeah. as well. And two strokes could happen on any of these holes. Yeah. Here we are on to final the last hole. hole. Yeah. The final hole of the final nine yeah. of the 2019 Seth Burton Memorial. Yeah, yeah. Corey up with the sidearm on 18 on this par five. Oh, oh. it don't. First tree, you don't like to see that. No. Brad's lining up his shot. Or Tyler, I'm oh, sorry. Oh. He hits a tree by the yeah, He also tee. hit a tree, but he'll have a, a little look to get down the fairway. Here's Brad. He hits oh. the tree, but he gets a decent kick he, forward. He, does. he was happy with that. Same opportunity. Mm hmm. Maybe someone can get one down the fairway. Sam oh, steps right Sam's up. Sam's the man. Yeah, he's the man to do that. 
He's getting down there pretty far. Excellent shape. Oh, wow, yeah. 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 He'll have a good chance at eagle from there. He'll be able to lay up and have a tap in eagle, maybe. Corey chopping through. Gets to the short tee, and he's rolling. Still oh. rolling. Sit. Oh, boy. Now he's down there. So this golf hands, if you get near Fairmont, West Virginia, you got to check these courses out. They're really awesome. Yeah, yeah. Pleasant Valley is your exit right off I-79. It's in less than five minutes off of 79 north oh, south yeah. are these courses. Two courses in one park. Right there you go. you got two tee pads, two baskets on all, both courses, yeah. 18 holes times two. Yeah, so many layouts. Here's Brad with a nice upshot here. Great sidearm. Corey is going to sneak here for his third shot. This hole can get you, it can put some strokes on you pretty quickly. That's evidence. It's a tight one, yeah. Probably one of the tightest uh, on Orange Crush is 18. Yes. Corey chops his way up there a little bit. Brad's going to be looking down that alley at the basket. He is. He's running it. He's getting down there. Oh, a little tree left. Corey in the weeds mm -hmm. here. This hole hasn't been treating him very good. Yeah. Okay, he made a move there. Uh, looks, looks like, like he's he got out successfully. Oh yeah, it flew right over the basket, and I think we finally got to Sam's drive. I think this is yeah, this is his second shot. I That's believe. Amazing, yeah, great shot, Sam. Looks like he put it right up there. Yeah. Have a good chance for Eagle here. Here's Tyler just wanting to get this hole out of the way, I'm sure, safely. Let's see what he does. Little Anheuser. Got a little kick left, but not too bad. He won't be getting a bird. No, he'd be doing good to get the par. Yep, yep. It's a short basket there on the right. Mm -hmm. This is really not much of a putt. All right, he's on the green. Corey lays it. Now it's Brad laying up for the green. He went quick. This is their putting hat on the final yeah. hole here. Wow. Of the 2019 Seth Burton Memorial. Yeah, you're coming. A great tournament. Yeah, 106 players. Hopefully next year we'll have some more. So uh, once this tournament goes online, you guys sign up. Do it on disc golf scene as usual. Yeah. And you got to get to Pleasant Valley and play these courses if you like this golf. Yep. You'll be challenged. You'll love it. Oh, Corey misses his. Oh, I think that was for par. Mm-hmm. Yep. So here's Tyler for his par five. He gets that, and looks like there's our winner right there, Tyler Horn, champion, 2019. First champion uh, championship at the Seth Burton for Tyler Horn, and he's been here many years, so that was a good win for Tyler. Yeah, congratulations, Tyler Horn, on so, that exquisite disc, disc golf. Yeah, so here's how we finished out here coming up. Uh, our, our top four, Tyler Horn, first place, $1,192. Corey Ellis, second place, $823. Brad Schick, third place, $623. And Sam Lee, at fourth place, at $490. Including Tyler, Corey, and Brad, two other disc golfers also got the uh, USDGC bid, and that was uh, Ben Krieger and Lance Brown. So congratulations to them, too. We wish all those guys the best of luck at the USDGC. Yes, congratulations to all of our winners here and all of our players. It's been a great year. We're having wonderful weather. And thanks for watching the 2019 Seth Burton Memorial. So we want to give a big shout out to our sponsors here, the City of Pleasant Valley, Pierpont Community and Technical College, Summit Brokerage Services. The City of Fairmont, yeah. Marion County Convention and Visitors Bureau who made these videos possible. Uh, uh, Mountain Craft Productions for helping for with doing the, the video flyover. Yeah, and, and uh, Disc Golf Examiner, and disc golf our exam partner in, yeah. in these videos. Yeah, we got our local great places to eat. You know, they sponsored as well. Short Story Brewing and their delicious beer and Copper House Grill, a nearby place to get food. So we appreciate you guys and hope to see you next year at the Seth Burt Memorial. Come check us out on Disc Golf Scene. We got a bunch of social media for the Fairmont Flyers Disc Golf Club and the Seth Burt Memorial Disc Golf Course. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Instagram. Until then, keep, keep banging, banging those chains. chains. Hi. 
Philip Burton here with Summit. We're excited to be a part of the 2019 Seth Burton Memorial. Summit is here to guide you through life's changes and to help you plan for your future. Our advisors here at Summit have over 50 years of combined experience in investment management and financial planning. So if you've just hit the lottery or you have a retirement plan rollover question, we're happy to help and there's never a charge for your initial consultation.